Okay, so it's a little bit of a scratch. Yeah, some games going on right now, currently. Yeah. Okay, we have games. I'm going to talk about games that have finished here as well. We have Winds Up, South Korean Up, Sneak, the way it is, but Tinny. Probably about the 515, 530 East. We have Hoster and Campbell on the bottom, We have Rainbow and Massachusetts Hills in the Fordham, in Fordham, in the Rocks, in New York, here at Fordham University. That is where the 8 like 10 tournament is being held. That is to be determined. When this coming back. Whenever the rain dies down, where they get the word from the radar that the rain is in playable condition, or at the umpire's, maybe at the umpire's discretion, they'll come back. We got Cleveland State and Oakland in the bottom in the ninth. Right now, playing in the top of the 10th. Here. We have top of the 7th here. Crane 2 1 lead on St. John's. 10 5 lead for Central Country or Long Island. For um, my fifth, 11 1 in Wichester State. Lead. If you want to like Wichester State, trying to run with Florida in the second. Right, American have like a couple of seven things. In the winner take all, so they go to the American Athletic Championship game tomorrow at New East or New Spring 2. We have five conference tournament championships. You know, which they normally show those five. Anyways, you know. You know, the American, and they have the power, the uh, four, four, four to five power conferences, the Pac 12, the Big 12, the Big the Pac 12, the Big 12, the ACC, and the SEC. These being two, I'm back to um, two and a half hour windows. So we got. Then we got the ACC at 2 3. 5 is SEC. 7 3 is Big 12. And, and 10 is the Pac 12. 10 is. We got Sanford Chamber by 3 on the bottom of the third. Kevin King and Wendell and Rita Valley in the top of the fourth. So Florida Gulf Coast, North Florida, Scores at the top of the third. 2 1 Portland State and Weaver State in the bottom of the second. Wendell and Virgil come Florida State in the top of the second. Jack State won nothing on the in the top, top of the first. Can't see no more scores. Binghamton U.S. will scores. We took the green scores. And Mossy Field in a rain delay, it looks like. They've been in a 45 minute rain delay. 10 and a half. Since the 10 and a half start time. At 4th Eastern. 4th Eastern. Can you snag again with any minute here? We got uh, now, number 9 on 2, number 12. Misery at 5 Eastern. The tennis or the SEC semi. Uh, and then we got 10 of start times here. We got 10 in Horizon League. Here as well as the Big South for the elimination semi. Elimination semi. And then we got um, Horizon League. Next 10 and 10 of times for their next games. For and then we got Eastern Light, Southern Light, and yeah, Eastern Light. 5 Eastern, 10. And then we got 5 Eastern here. The CA semi, this one is 10 of due to the first ones. So it's not that much of one on right now. So the scoreless here. And this 10 of that game is going to be 10 of 4. 6 Eastern. This SEC semi tenant for 630 Eastern. And this conference is a game for 7 Eastern, 10 of. This rising game, 10 of. The, for the, sec, the, the third and fourth rising games will be 10 of. Times. We have Lehigh beat Spot now 12 2. Duke, number 5, Duke beats number 10, comes in 4 3 and 10. Yeah, we're looking for Miami, Ohio, meets Ohio through 
Yep, so there is a little bit of that. Same for Bill Buster Cream at 4 1. You guys will be ready to win. 4 1 to Bill Street today. 4 2 Saturday night to be on my team. 2 1 South Kobe tomorrow. 7 Quest TV tomorrow. 7 2 Western Tech TV on next week. 8 2. Tech TV Marshall 10 4. Merit Diver meets Mirrors. In the, in the winners back at the semi final. So this is Missouri State beats Eastern Night. And Eastern Night is going to elimination in semi final against Southern Indy. Morgan C B North Carolina Central. And then yeah, semi five three. We got Bama tenth in this one. And we got Bama seventh in that one. And we got Bama the fifth here. And we got eleven one in that one. And yeah, we just got some. We don't, and there's not a lot, a lot of games in two after these. We got some other ones here. And my phone is at 15% battery. I'm going to keep fun charging. Which is probably going to be, I don't know what it is, but it's going to be soon uh, right away. We got by myself in the Babies Championships. Some of my fingers. That's Creighton's season. That is Creighton's pitcher. And that right arm has led them to 30 plus wins for the first time in about a decade and a half. And that right arm has its eye. Complete game number five. To do it, seven, eight, nine against St. John's, who's won 31 games this year, come from behind so many times this year. Winner to play UConn in the nightcap tonight. In the final elimination game before championship Saturday, foul back by Katie Whitaker. Lee Ross Dockage, Cooper Boardman. This is your ride or die. She's still throwing hard. I mean, she may be tired, but she's still throwing hard. She's still mixing in that changeup. Doing a great job leading her team. Just a sophomore, too. And expect wants the ball. I think that's the thing, too. Not only is she capable, but she wants the ball every pitch. 25 wins for Natalia Pacino. On an 0 2 ground and foul. Done it in a very different way. As she works into the seventh inning for the tenth time this year. She has not struck out a single St. John's batter. Gets this one in the air on the 0 2 pitch. It touches down foul. Whitaker nearly placed it. Yeah, that says a lot about Pacino and how hard she's working. I mean, she's not unhittable, but she's just mixing her pitches so well that she's keeping them kind of off balance. This is fair. Inside third. Gappa throws to first. One out for Creighton in the seventh inning. Great defense behind her. She knows her job is just, you know, let her put it in play, let her defense work. A hundred and four pitches. She has eclipsed the century mark. I think right now she's kind of reaching the bottom of the tank. Hank and just pulling up everything she can. Burn back a little harder. Trying to finish off St. John's and get Creighton to another elimination game against Connecticut. Set up a rematch of what was a two run game in their opener. Stouffer 
is one for two. St. John's is in the eighth spot in their order. And then Slade is due up next. And then they are praying they can get it back up top for Bianco and then Gerard. Chino has no interest in... A run in the bottom of the third inning for St. John's. Two runs in the fifth inning for Creighton. That's it. Two and two. A hundred and sixteen pitches on Wednesday. A hundred and two pitches on Thursday. And here is one ten on Friday. And it's a fly ball. Wow. That is so hard to do as an outfield outfielder. You are running full speed on this ball, trying to track it, keeping your eye on it, running full speed back. You know the fence is there somewhere. Great timing on that leap. Great timing holding on to the ball. Taking one off the fence, she'll feel that later. Not right now. I mean, if that ball hits the ground, Stouffer's on second, no doubt. She's on third, and who knows where it bounces. And one of the best defensive plays of Creighton's season is them one out away from moving on. One and one to London Slade. You also have to have the confidence to make that play, not let it go off the fence in this moment. The confidence and the determination. Your team has been working hard to get to this point, so hard. And we've been talking about Gino this whole time. All of her fielders know she's just out there. I mean, she's going above and beyond, right? Just day in and day out, throwing over 100 pitches a game. Twenty-five wins on the season for Pacino. Looking for a complete game here on a one-two. <laughs> Against the nine hitter, Slade, top of the order, looming again. Three hundred and thirty-third pitch of the week, and it's a ground ball foul. There will be a 334th. This is what Pacino wants. She just wants to give Slade something she'll put on the ground on the left side. She's got Pearson over there at short. Ready to gobble it up. Great to strike the boy from moving on. A 2 2. London Slade will not go down. Slate's got good speed. All she needs to do is tap this ball and give herself a chance. 18 and two-thirds innings on the lead for Pacino. 2-2, two -two, grounded foul. All she wants is 19 plus. Nothing in this game. Long breaths for Natalia Pacino. Another one coming. Really good eye by Slade. Pacino needs to just put this ball right over the plate. Let's see, and then let the play happen. You know, just don't try and be too fancy here. The payoff. London Slade does not have an extra base hit in the regular season, but does have a double in this tournament. Chino had 110 pitches coming into the end bat. Here is the 10th. St. John's season on the line. Out of three. To keep Creighton season. And Creighton. Moves on the American.
Zanzibar. Pays Championship. Well, not quite. But it is an elimination semi thing. Oh, uh, it's Duke. University of Connecticut Huskies. And we got the 11th here. Korean State Open. 11 month. 1 0. We got Central Connect. Trying to run the rule along that. We're up to 05. I'm gonna try to run the news. Yeah, which uh, state? 11 to 1, Florida Atlantic. Which is pretty surprising that Florida Atlantic is down this much. It's a 1 in the 4. And they are just cruising. Coach is trying to run with Florida Atlantic. We got 3 out. Same for Chattanooga. Bottom of the first. 3 out of Green King and Utah Valley in the top of the first. We got 3 out of North Florida Gulf Coast, North Florida. We got two one for San Weaver State. We got Georgia Tech up one nothing and North City Thursday. We got Binghamton one nothing and New Mexico. We got Jackson State one nothing and four a.m. and Thomas. We got Kansas City one two nothing. Come on up two nothing and Kansas City on top of side. We got Louisiana Tech Liberty two scores to Thomas. Number nine was two number two Missouri District top of the first. We got top of the first and then some luck tonight. Try Louisiana. I'm always taking my lead. Winner plays elimination game later. We got Indiana, Nebraska, and we're going to take a Top of first winter, South Korea. That's 10 men. Now, the new 10 of 10 is 5 for your trees. Niagara. That the elimination game. That is in a weather delay. So is Boston, Toledo. In a weather delay. Northern Kentucky is we in. Is you know waiting for the second some fight waiting for the, the game before the finish then Steve Scott and is that over? No. We are going to the uh, the bottom of the eleven. No, on the rest of the east room. And pay out, and we got uh, Big South. So I'm waiting, waiting for the next Big South game. And and they're waiting for the um, they're waiting for the nominations. Like the non-nominations, and then subscribers. That, well, I mean, that, and the loser will play long for the blue limit, and then in elimination. And then we got that 10, so I was waiting for it time then. So Orrin Campbell waiting for this one to end. I still don't know Easter, like maybe 10 of the not yet. We'll see here. The Maximus might be moved to Saturday, some of this. They might play like late night. They might have another late night at the Mac tournament. Another later night, late night games. So we will see here. What's going on here in these tournaments? The Mount Horizon, they might have a late late and later games. But, and just because the games are going long now, we can do what which is better sign. We got Kimbo beat Hostro 1 0 and 9. So we will see here. And um, so that is it for a book round for right now. I will do some more book round potentially later in the day. my phone stretch. And I will share with you some exciting action right now. Here in from the softball tournaments later. Later on, most we will have other. I'm not sure what tournament to be on, but you know, obviously it's hard to predict because of the rain delays and you know, obviously you know all that stuff. It's hard to predict. You know, it's hard to predict if games go all that stuff. So, but most likely we have the big. Sc <coughs>
a big a big sky a map maybe the map maybe an SEC something then we'll see you